Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner, down here at the pig pen today in the uh, Crater of Diamonds State Park. You can see this is on the way south end. So uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and finish the series of videos, uh, the four tips to finding a diamond. Today, we're going to look at how to identify a diamond. So if you've ever kind of looked at a diamond, it's in a ring, it's already been cut and everything, and those are pretty distinguishable. You know, of course, there's zircon and stuff like that, but uh, diamonds in the rough... Um, I guess a good way to say it is everywhere they come from, they have little characteristics about them that make them identifiable. Uh, and, and specifically, these are the Crater of Diamonds. Um, they're pretty easy to pick out, and there's not a lot of other, uh, not a lot, not a lot of other sources uh, where diamonds come from that look quite like these. As they were erupted up, um, they resorbed, and it's, I, I explained to people it's kind of like melting ice. It kind of gave them a smooth, slick finish. Uh, makes them beautiful straight out of the ground out here. So I've got a little diamond with me today. Uh, brought it down here to have it identified, um, have it registered. We'll take a look at that diamond and kind of talk about some of the characteristics of the diamonds from down here. And uh, you'll be able to see, uh, I don't know, it's it, seeing them in person, seeing them actually what they look like uh, right there in your hand is, is obviously it's going to be different. Let me get this diamond out, show it to you guys, um, talk a little bit about what to look for when you're out here looking at these things. All right, so put these kind of out here where you can get a look at these but I've got two stones here one of them's a diamond and one of them is not so you can kind of see the difference this is uh, sitting on some 16 mesh so this is probably I don't know maybe a 5.3.5 point maybe a 7 I'm not sure but uh, like I said it's sitting on 16 mesh so every one of these little screen squares right here is a 16th of an inch and these things are really hard to get video of because they're translucent, but you can see the difference between this piece of quartz. I think it's that's quartz or jas quartz or jasper, but that is a diamond, and you can get a look at that. You can kind of see those faces on there, and you can kind of see that that metallic luster compared to a basically a non-diamond. So you can see that's a pretty yellow color. It's a good shape. And that is, like I said, that's directly out of the ground. Beautiful little diamond. It's kind of overcast today, which uh, I don't know if that actually helps. Some people say they like it overcast when they're looking at these. The light's just different, but you can see I can shade that diamond a little bit and you can still see it. it's got the luster on it. So uh, that metallic look and those natural faces are the main giveaways for a diamond okay so i'm going to take this thing up to the diamond discovery center anytime you're out here if you've got any kind of stone you want looked at they'll take a look at it up there for you it doesn't cost anything all you gotta do is stroll up in there they can tell you what it is and they'll be able to identify a diamond and if it is one they actually register it right there for you so if they've got somebody on duty that's able to register the diamonds you can walk in there you know once you've got it identified uh, they'll take it from there and they'll get that thing you'll have a little card that they'll issue uh, you've probably seen some of them in my videos uh, I, th I think i've actually got a video of the diamonds that i found one fall out here i'll put a link to that up here in the corner um, anyhow so we'll get this thing uh, identified and registered and i'll show you the card and maybe we can walk through the process with them all right so you can see that search field out behind me i am in this diamond discovery center and right there is the desk where you come and identify the things you found. So we're going to take this over there and let her have a look at it. So I've got two little rocks in here. One of them I know is a diamond, one of them I know is not a diamond. And I guarantee you she's going to be able to pick them out real quick. Okay. All right, so she took it back in the office back there. So what she's going to do is she's going to put it under a scope. Um, I mean, you saying she picked it up pretty quick. She knew it was one right off the bat. And there's really, even in here, there's no mistaking that, that metallic luster, the adamantine luster, they call it. So she's going to go back there and uh, take a good look at it. She's got a piece of paper for me to fill out. That's a pretty good sign. Okay, so uh, we're back here in the office, and this is Taylor, and she's going to describe a couple of things. She's going to let us know what she looks for when she's identifying a diamond. 
Okay, so the first thing you're looking for is like your metallic luster. Like when you see it on the table, you kind of instantly know. You bring it back here and under a microscope. What I'm looking for is it's like rounded smooth edges and it's facets that you can see right here. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I identify a crater diamond. Okay, so um, would you say there's like a specific size or anything? I mean... Um, no, not a specific size really. A diamond can be like half a point anywhere to like a carrot. So I'm not looking for a certain right. size, just more like the features of the rounded edges, the facets, the luster. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's typically three colors, right? Yeah, brown, white, and yellow. Brown, white, and yellow. Uh, which one's your favorite? Uh, I kind of like browns. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're really pretty. I, yeah, I can see. I really like yellows. Mm -hmm. And this is, what's this one? This is going to be yellow, Yeah, right? it's a yellow. Yeah. It's okay. a nine-point yellow. I was kind of thinking so. And so this is it on the screen. You can't really, it's hard to see the, kind of hard to see the color of it. And it's a little bit difficult to see the luster, but you can kind of see how some of these areas on those faces right there kind of light up. But, uh, so yeah, that's it. That's a picture of it. It's actually sitting under the scope over here right now. You can see it right there. You really can't see the diamond, but you can see the scope they're using. So, I mean, they've got plenty of things in here to properly identify a diamond. Um, another thing that most people don't realize is that you get a card when you register a diamond, right? So it's going to show the weight, the date and everything. You can also, if you end up like purchasing a diamond locally or something like that, or off of one of the regular miners, you can actually bring it down here and have that re-registered into your name. It won't actually, the card will be a little bit different. It won't say that you found a diamond, but I think it, read, it shows you as the owner of the Arkansas diamond. So, and that's just with Crater Diamonds. You can't just get any old diamond to do it, but uh, <clears throat> they'll look for the characteristics and everything on it. Um, from here, they're pretty easily distinguishable because they're resorbed. So you really don't have the faces of an octahedron diamond, which is two four-sided pyramids base to base. Those faces are resorbed away from this, from this particular pipe, right? So that's one of the things that makes them distinguishable as the crater of diamonds diamond. So um, there's not really what I would say is a particular shape, but uh, you know, I found some that were just busted chips. It didn't even look like their original shape. They were just all chewed up, burned up, stuff like that. So uh, anyhow, so this happens to be a pretty diamond. It, it, uh, it still is most, mostly whole. It's not perfectly, perfectly clean. It's got a few little inclusions in it, but still really neat diamond. And it's my favorite color of diamonds. It's a yellow. So Tyler, Tyler? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good to go? Yeah. How many points? Nine points. Nine points. Mm -hmm. Sweet. A little bigger than I thought. So, all right. So uh, we'll get the card on this thing and get a good look at it and maybe take it outside. Looks like the sun may be fixing to come out here in a few minutes. We'll look at it under sunshine. Okay. So got it registered and it is sitting right here on this card. All right. So here it is. Got this thing set in my Saruka so I don't lose it. Good gust of wind blows that card off and that thing's gone and they say that you only find them once. So yeah, there it is. Little nine point. Right there. You can kind of see in the sunlight, even if you put your shadow over it. That's one of the things when I'm checking centers that I like to do is put a shadow over that thing and you can still see that luster on it. So nice little diamond, pretty little shape, not perfectly clean, but you know, when you're just sitting here looking at it, you really can't even tell that it's got any inclusions in it. So, cool. All right, so uh, that's how you identify a diamond down here at the Crater Diamond State Park. Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos in my playlist, I'll put a link to it right here at the end of this video. And uh, thanks for watching.